So today is Friday and on Thursday I am going to have a surgery on my shoulder. It's an arthroscopy and I am going to um, be in a sling for six weeks after this. And so um, while I'm pretty used to compensating for things due to the radial club hand, hypoplastic thumb, stop moving. Mm -hmm. The cat, the cat is jiggling the camera. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, <laughs> soot, I swear. That's not soot, that's Kinnison. No, that's soot. No. That's soot. Soot. Kinnison is in the closet right now. So I'm concerned Kinnison. about how I'm going to do things Jack with soot. one hand. Can you tie the shoe with one hand? I'll try. Untie it. Untie the shoe. I think I can, though. Tie it with one hand. Did I pop these? I don't know. No, just tie it with one hand. Right? Okay. I'm okay. just thinking! Hang on! Do, do the thing. And I'm supposed to do this with one hand while on pain pills. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> no. Are you going to tie my shoes for me? No. But you would, right, if I needed you to? No, oh, I'd be at school or with my dad or just playing old thing in my room with the light off, watching videos on my tablet, and playing Roblox. Alright, so, Roblox. um, Nana ordered me something. I know. And it came here from... I want to break it. Slovenia. Can I break the pass? You see that? It's from Slovenia. Can I break the pass? See, package? customs label and everything is called Quick Shoelace. Can I break the pass? No, you package. can't break the package. Hey, I'm unboxing it. You can unbox this one, but we're going to go slowly. This no, is no, shoelace no. product that you can use with one hand if the uh, if the videos were correct online. That is not how you open a shoe polish container. They come in a shoe polish container. I'm going to rip it Hold open. Hold on, let's see what else is in here, though, first, because that's how you're supposed to do an unboxing thing. So we got now, two of them. Uh, this one has That blue. one's in black, and this one is in what color? Blue. So Turquoise. This one, it's one blue. Turquoise. I'm not good at naming colors, okay? Look at the label. Read the stuff. I don't read. Ah, we got a video going. So, There's a note. Dear friend, we are happy, <laughs> comma, that you believe in our product. This is only a beginning for us. We can't thank you enough, so we hope these laces will put a smile on your face like you did on ours. We also hope you will enjoy wearing them and spread the word because these laces should be in every corner of the world. We make people equal and more fashion forward. Stay elastic. Your quick shoelace team. You can pause that if you want to read that. That's awesome. They send a little note. Um, there's a business card Ooh, for quick can I shoelace. It when we're all done with it? You're not destroying this stuff. I want to destroy the package. Do you want to start the video over from the beginning and and leave out your commentary about destroying things? I'm going to say the exact same things. You're gonna run my time up, and then we won't be able to post this. Whatever. Let's so there's a uh, there's a note on here that I found interesting. Let me get it to focus, and you can pause and read it if you want to. We will. The package after it's oh, it's gone. not going. Order Want to know yourself? You understand you that in life is not the money we are after. There are only dreams we have since childhood, and a successful people are those who still play silly games and dare to dream big. Their awareness of society and environment is the key that unlock the doors they opened by themselves leaded by curiosity stepping higher and higher and that is attributed to either nez or knez david please stop messing with my flip-flops under the no, bench and i think that's it oh there's a receipt showing that uh it was a purchase of 38 dollars to get two sets of these laces all right do you know how to open a shoe polish can because that is the type of can this is they, they come in a it's shoe It's basically can. already opened. No, it's not. Well, this one is. That's not how. You're supposed to turn the thing. Like, like this. You get it, and you turn it. 
Okay, it's like an old-fashioned shoe, shoe polish canister, which nobody ever buys shoe polish these Ta -da! days. So what's in it? I'm not touching that. No, okay, hold on. You're supposed to show what is all in it. Instructions, because everyone loves instructions. Okay, what's in a little baggie? <laughs> Sarcasm. What's in the baggie? These. That's a label. Uh, the little tips under the blue thing. The thingy. little tips. Now we got. I, don't know uh, what they're called. I I got one with round button type tips and one with spikes because I'm totally punk. No, she isn't. I'm totally punk. What? So are these the spiky ones or the round ones? Uh, the spikes. Don't lose any of those. I need them. I'm guessing this is how they work. We put that in the shoe, then we put this on it. You gotta be kidding me! I have to do this! No. Okay. <laughs> then we do this, then we shove it on this. Nope. And then we're done. Not quite. Yeah! So I was, I was watching the video for these, and it is one single lace. Yeah, just like every other shoe. shoe. No. Not quite. This one zigzags back and forth instead of crisscrossing back oh, and forth. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I want to fix this. So you wind up with this stretchy piece. Oh, also, also, it is red. Which is apparently just right for turning these little screws in case you don't have a screwdriver. Yeah. But okay. everyone in this house does, so... That's not what's important. So, we put these little bolts. Yeah, like I said, we put these... Don't know if you can see it. On the shoe, yeah. like so. We put it on. And then we loop them back and forth, and then, uh... We put this bit on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do this. We put this on. You wanna open up the black ones and see what they look like? Uh, I want the blue ones right now, but that's are all. all are these all the pieces? Yeah. I kind of wish you dumped them out into the lid so we make sure we not lose any. That's the bottom. Good enough. Water. Okay. Let's see what's in can number two. More instructions, because everyone loves instructions. Are you trying to mimic other people's boxes because you need the or unboxing videos because you need the instructions to put these on the shoe? I'm being sarcastic. It's not working. Whatever. I don't know how to be sarcastic. I know it is. Okay. This is Same nice. exact thing as the other ones. The only thing different is. Don't mess them up too much because those are going back in there for my other set shoes. Okay, four screws, four tips, in either pointy Bye. or round. Oh, good. And four washers. Only this says rings. Two elastics. Tap of the screwdriver. Okay. I don't think I'm going to use the lace lock option on these things. So yeah, we basically have the same mechanic as it. Okay. A little thing. Okay. A screw. But this bit's a different. As you can see, it's round at the top. Instead not of uh, point. Pointy spike. Like the Af Eiffel Tower. This is more like a. Uh, FNAF character snows. Okay. Or Freddy's nose if you have a billion right, of those. Why don't you go up to this the the little button where it's pause and I'm gonna try put these laces on the shoe. And then we'll see if they work. Got the first one done. I'll do the second one later. I got the ones with the pointy pegs. Um it zigzags through the laces. I was a little concerned about this part right here, the little loopy bit that the shoelace threads through on the tongue. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it actually lined up really well. It fastens this way. Either going around 
one peg and then this little ring hooks over the other. Let me get this up here close where you can see it. Or if you want it particularly loose, you can just go on the first peg like so. Um, this little tag here is handy to hold on to. It's also what was uh, real good for getting the pokey things on real tight. Now the way it fastens in here is there are two little itty bitty rings for each long elastic lace and you put them both on the string like so uh, and then you go back through the second ring and it, uh, it actually holds really well. I wasn't convinced it wasn't going to fray and just come apart so I added a knot. I think that'll help. Um, there's a caution in the instructions to be very careful when threading it through and the reason for that I found is because this is the part that you push through the grommet holes and the back of it is actually quite sharp. I cut my thumb on it. That was not cool. Um, I think they could probably file that down a bit, be a little less risky. But other than that, I have, I currently have no complaints and I'm really looking forward to being able to tie my shoes one-handed, like so. So, there we go, which is, which is great because while these are stretchy, I did not want the springy kind of uh, shoelaces and we've tried the little snapped rubber band kind of things on the kids' laces before. We've tried the Zubit magnets. Metal. Wait, and those were tight. Those were hard to break apart. Yes! You're, you're looking to... Literally, to I had to pull them apart so... Uh, that won't work. I need... Mm. Just mm. look. Use your hands. Look. I had to do this. Look. That looks nothing like uh, it. I mean... Look at my fingers. Okay? I had to twist one of them. And then I would be able to pull it apart because like this, they barely want to would move. You did have the youth sized ones though, so they were particularly strong magnets. I had trouble with those magnets. But this, I, I'm very hopeful with this. Alright, I think I'm done. Can you uh, hit the button?